Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a program specialist at Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles. That means I plan STEAM programs and experiences for girls in LA. Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles is located in the great state of California and we're coming to you from the city of Whittier about a 20 minute drive to the Pacific Ocean. Hi, I'm Ashley, a fourth grader and a junior Girl Scout. Today, we're gonna to engineer a fling flyer that can fly across the room. At the end of the video, you'll learn how to create an airplane powered by a rubber band and explore why things like birds and planes stay in the air. You'll also learn about the forces that affect flight as we brainstorm, design, and test a fling flyer to complete the first three steps of the Brownie Mechanical Engineer Fling Flyer Design Badge. Now let's get started. This activity will take about 15 minutes to complete with five minutes for brainstorming and designing and another five for building and testing. You'll need a couple of things to get you started. So you'll need a few sheets of paper, a pencil or pen, some tape, a paper clip, and two rubber bands. To design the best paper airplane or fling flyer, we need to know about the forces that act on things when they fly. What pushes the paper airplane forward through the air? By bending your elbow and throwing the paper airplane, <clears throat> you add an extra strength or force to your airplane's flight. Force is a strength or energy that creates movement. Everything in our world moves because of different forces at play. Push and pull are two examples of opposite force. I threw the paper airplane propelling it through the air with force. This is called thrust. Thrust is an example of a force or a push that creates movement. The airplane slows down because there are little molecules of air that act with force against it, causing it to slow down. This is called drag. Drag is another example of force. It is a pull or the opposite of thrust. What are some things that cause drag? Wind can be something that causes drag. When I throw the paper airplane, it comes back down, right? Why does that happen? Gravity is another force, um, and that pulls objects towards each other. For example, when you drop a ball, it falls to the ground because the Earth's gravity pulls the ball towards it. If you jump up, gravity brings you back down to the ground, right? It does. Try it. Jump up and see if you float or if you head back to the ground. When we threw our paper airplanes, did it fly straight? If it didn't, why do you think that happened? The wings bounce off air, causing the air to push back on the wings. That is why paper flutters to the ground instead of falling straight down. This force is called lift. Lift is the opposite force of gravity. Lift can be affected by shape. For example, if you dropped a ball, would it flutter like dropping a paper airplane? The answer is no, or very little. airplane move against and through the air. Even when the airplane is falling, the wings are still at work, causing it to fall to the ground slowly. Here's a fling flyer that I created using the materials that you'll have available today. While mine is a good starting point, I encourage you to use your imagination to come up with a fling flyer that will maximize its ability to fly. Use the materials to make a fling flyer any way you'd like. Think about whether you'd like your fling flyer to fly far, stay in the air for a long time, or be able to do tricks. What you want your fling flyer to do will inform your design. Now, you're gonna take a crack at creating your own fling flyer using the materials. Before engineers build things, they plan their design. Designing your product before you build allows you to think through any problems or troubleshoot ahead of time. Draw your fling flyer to help figure out how to build it. If you already have ideas of how to make your fling flyer better, go ahead and add those to your design now. Now, feel free to pause this video at any time to start designing your product. Here's our design. As you can see, we have really long and narrow wings. We thought that this would be great because we want our fling flyer to fly really far. Now, go ahead and use your design to start building your fling flyer. We're going to start building as well, so you can always follow along if you'd like. So, I have a sheet of regular copy paper, and I colored a little bit. I did a little bit um, of sketching. So, um, if you'd like to color yours, you may do so, or you can use some wrapping paper that already has a design, or some construction paper. So, let's start by folding this in half. Just like so. And then if you open it up, you can see you have a really nice crease. 
What you'll do next is you'll take this end and fold it to that center crease and you'll do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and do that now. Or if you're building however you'd like, go ahead and get to it. All right, so this is how your paper airplane or fling flyer should look if you're following our design. Now next, you're gonna get this corner and you're gonna fold it in to your center crease, like so. You can see my long, narrow wing is starting to form. You'll do the same thing with the other side. So fold it in towards the center for both sides. All right, so you'll go ahead and get your paper airplane and fold it along the crease. And now these are gonna form your wings. So what you'll do is you're gonna wanna fold, put your thumb next to um, the bottom and you're gonna fold it to where your thumb hits the paper. Now go ahead and fold it however you'd like. So you want it to have really long wings or really short wings. Make sure that when you're folding, you fold over and create really strong creases. So pinch it a little bit and then run your fingers through the paper. And here's my fling flyer. Now, the next step is we're gonna be um, using our paper clip, or if you don't have a paper clip, you can grab your bobby pin and you're gonna attach this to the airplane's body so that we have something to launch it with. So if you have a bobby pin, go ahead and open it up to create an L. And if you have a safe, uh, I'm sorry, a paper clip, go ahead and unwind it and create an L with it. Now be careful and do it gently. So I'll do it on this side. So as you can see, now it looks like an L, right? <clears throat> so the longer part of that, we're gonna use and poke through the center of the paper. If you have a bobby pin, it might be a little bit difficult. So you can get a pencil or a pen and poke a hole right through it. I poked a hole just like so. Do you need help? Oh, there you go. So she got it. So then you're going to take your bobby pin or your paper clip and uh, feed it through that hole that you created like so. So you'll see the paper clip is aligned here with, with the center and then you can see that it's at the bottom as well. Now go ahead and get a piece of tape and tape it on to make sure that it sticks to it really well. So just right yeah, to the center the on the inside, yes. So open it up and you can have um, someone help you if you need to. And tape it down, great. And what I like to do is I like to add just a little bit of tape to the back so that it can clip the body together. Would you like some tape? Just a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Like this? Um, no. So make sure that your wings are up high so that you don't um, tape your wings down because we need those. You just tape it along the back. So here are your fling flyers. Does mine look like the design? I think so. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to test our fling flyers. We're going to be going outside. So if you'd like to test yours outside, make sure to ask an adult and have them go with you. You ready, Ashley? Yeah. Now let's test our design. Let's test to see how far our fling flyer goes, how long it stays in the air, and let's see if it can do any tricks. Now, using your rubber band, you're gonna use this to launch your fling flyer. So you're gonna use your finger and your thumb to pinch it, and then you're gonna pull on one end. This is gonna be the end where you put your paper clip or bobby pin. You're gonna go like this and squeeze near the body of your plane, and then let go and it will launch. So let's test it a few times.
it looks like our test was pretty successful. I saw a few tricks like your twirls and mine went pretty far. All right, let's head back inside. Now that we know we want our fling flyers to fly far, stay in the air, and do tricks, we have a better idea of how to rebuild them to meet these goals. Do you want to rebuild your flyer? Feel free to add or take off anything from your last design. After you do something new, it's a good idea to think about what you learned, what you liked or didn't like, and what you'd like to do next. What did you find enjoyable and why? What did you find challenging and how did you deal with it? Did your flyer travel as far as you predicted? What surprised you? What would you like to do next? If you and your Girl Scout like this activity, you may try other of the Brownie Badge activities you can find here or at Girl Scouts at home. Your troop leader can find the rest of the steps for the Brownie Mechanical Engineering Fling Flyer Design Badge in the Volunteer Toolkit, or you can get it at our Girl Scout shop at girlscoutshop.com. And if you earned your badge, you can ask your adult to order it too. And if you are not yet a Girl Scout and you want to join, go to girlscout.org to learn more. See, See you next time! time.